Hey guys, Dennis here. I'm with Joey. How you doing? And we're here with Collider Games, and we're going to talk about the announcement Rockstar had about the different versions or editions of Red Dead Redemption 2. Two. Yeah. So we've known that this game is coming out for a while, and yeah. you know, plenty of people are excited about it. There's a lot of like lore behind Red Dead Redemption and uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. And so naturally, we get some special edition stuff that's got some interesting things. You know, like. You know, the physical stuff is usually what I'm interested in, but there's some digital stuff too. But there's so many different versions of this that were announced. What are they? What do, what well, do we got? We have the regular edition, which is going to be the $59.99 price. And that's just the game. Just the game. Just the game. Then you have the special edition, which is $20 more, which is $79.99. And that's going to come with, uh, let's see, a bank robbery mission and gang hideout. Okay. Uh, uh, extra horse, a dappled black oh, thoroughbred. Uh, okay, yeah, so spending money on stuff in-game. Yes. That's always exciting. We'll always uh, love that. The Nuevo Pariso Gunslinger outfit. And that's uh, that, that always says that it says Paraiso. I'm paraiso, wondering if it's supposed okay. to say Paradiso and they uh, spelt it wrong. I don't know. We're gonna find out. Talisman and medallion gameplay bonuses, gameplay bonuses, cash bonuses, and discounts, plus three weapons and free a lot of, at Gunsmiths. A lot of like pay to win sounding stuff. Yes, and then there's a, a map that comes with it and a slip cover. See, yeah, I mean, oh. It's not even a. It's not even a steel book. It's no, just no. like a different slipcover that says special edition. Yes, the ultimate edition actually has the steel cover that you're talking about. It has the map. It has all the okay. stuff that the the special edition has. But then it has bonus outfits and free survivor camp theme, bank bonuses, okay, black chestnut thoroughbred, free access to additional weapons, and that one is. And so that that one's uh, ninety nine. So, yes. you know, I'm interested in the physical stuff, like the, the map, that seems really cool. Yes. Like, you know, but plenty of games have come with physical maps before, and it didn't take you buying the special edition to get it. Now, this is the one that doesn't actually have the game. It's the collector's box. S okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. So, so Say that again. You're buying the collector's box. For $100. For $100, and you don't have, get the you game. You don't get the game. There's no game in this one. But it has, it comes in this cool metal box it's it's a red metal box with a that lock and key that is actually really cool yeah, looking yeah. um uh, it has a treasure map uh a double-sided puzzle 12 cigarette cards i'm excited that you get a bandana <laughs> yes, in it you like you can play you know shooter. cops and robbers at home like a six shooter banana a uh, bandana not a banana uh <laughs> six shooter banana uh collectible challenge coin playing cards a pin set uh wheeler rawson and company catalog so this does not have the game. There's yeah. just a collector's box with physical items that you said y you enjoy. I mean, I honestly usually like that kind of stuff, and that's the kind of collector's edition mm -hmm. I always used to buy. In the days of things like Loot Crate, mm -hmm. I've kind of steered away from them, but that one has some cool stuff, especially because th that map looks like it's printed on like a... It's not like paper. It like, looks like a leather mm -hmm. almost. And then there's... There's a puzzle. I have never had a game that comes with another game. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so which one are you gonna get? As much as I made fun of it, I kinda like that collector's box. I know it doesn't come with a game, but I would buy a digital copy of the game anyway. So okay. I so, might do that. So Especially if that ends up being like a real collector's thing. There, the thing that bugs me about it though, there's no statue. Yeah. That's usually what I go for. A figure or a statue, yeah. Yeah, something yeah, yeah, like yeah. that. Uh, I always buy the Fallout Collector's Edition because of the physical items that they mm -hmm. have. Red Dead, I, I like the game. I'm not, I don't love it as much as I love like something like Fallout. So I am going to get the Special Edition, not the Ultimate Edition, because I have a whole thing. Okay, so the Special Edition. So you can't, you can't just go buy with like the regular game. You need that in-game content? Yes. Okay, this is my... My thoughts and opinions on additional content. Like, it's, if you, I have no problem paying for DLC when there are story missions that are not part of the main mission, right? right? Or you're adding like the story and you're playing this game. I don't like paying for extra outfits, extra weapons. I I think that stuff should be included in the games and they should also be available to all gamers. You bring up a good point though that, that just uh, resonated with me. Throughout all of these, they announced no kind of season pass for DLC. Yes. So there's no like prepaying for the DLC that's coming out. I don't know if that means that they're not sure of the DLC they're gonna do or they wanna, you know, 
get as much money as, as possible. <laughs> well, I think they're trying to get as much money I as I mean, possible. yeah, that's probably what it is. Maybe it just means that they're confident enough in the game. I don't know. Yeah, I, I remember when Red Dead Redemption 1 came out. Uh, the game itself was, uh, the, the, the single player was fully intact. Mm -hmm. The multiplayer, on the hand, they had not finished that, right? right and they started right. releasing the extra areas. The areas were there. They just weren't populated with anything. So they started releasing those every few weeks, every few months. And then, then it became a much more fuller multiplayer game. And they're probably going to offer a lot of things in the future. Like, I mean, we've seen with GTA V, mm -hmm. there's been so many you know releases that you can be paying for and things like that you know dlc releases are not just you know two or three per game yeah. with uh with them so it's gonna be a lot of stuff coming up you know buying this stuff now mm -hmm. you might you might completely forget about it by the time new stuff comes out so maybe maybe you just go with the standard edition and uh and wait for the the really cool stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, the only reason I'm buying the special one is because it has actual content in terms of playability, not extra outfits and weapons. Right, and right. And from what I was reading online, this game drops uh, October 26. The online multiplayer, I think they're not going to have it ready for a few weeks or something after the launch. That kind of, of matches game. what they did with GTA V. Yeah, yeah. You know, that GTA Online had a little while and its own trailer and, mm -hmm. you know, stuff like that. So, yeah, I mean, uh, honestly, I think there's going to be so much released for this game that if you end up with digital content through purchasing it uh, originally, that's going to pale in comparison to what comes later. Okay. All right, guys, so that's what we thought. Uh, he's going with Collector's Box and the Digital Edition. Yep. I'm going to go with the Special Edition, not the Regular Edition, and not the Ultimate Edition. I'm, uh, I'm going to spend $100 on a challenge coin. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> oh, geez. So uh, let us know what you guys think. Which edition are you going to buy? Do you think it's fair that you know you have to pay for... I don't, that's just a thing with me. I, I just don't like paying for like outfits and, and weapons. And also, I don't like that people pay for advantages against other people. You know, like- That's oh, true, if it bleeds over to multiplayer, yes. then we have a big problem. Yeah. yeah. So, all right guys, uh, post your comments below and make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Collider Games, and we'll see you guys next time.